Hey guys, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm doing a tutorial on redstone, just the basics of redstone for now, but I should go into it a little bit more later in a, a later video. Okay, so redstone, it basically has two states. It's got its off state, see, and its on state. You can see the there's a particle effect and it glows red when it's on. And there's multiple ways of actually powering redstone, the first being a lever, which has either on or off, a button, which stays on for about a second and then turns off, there's a wooden pressure plate, and a stone one. Now the difference between wooden and stone is not only the, the look, but a stone one will only react to mobile entities such as say that cow over here or myself whereas wood will react to anything such as items whereas if I throw an item on this one it doesn't power it so it can also be powered by the redstone torch that I have in my hand there we go and a detector rail which shall power something if a cart, minecart goes over it. As you can see, it's not powered now, but if I push this minecart over it, it is powered. Just... No, it's not powered. Okay. Redstone can travel up to 15 blocks. So we've got one block here, down to 15 at the end. So if I turn it on, as you can see, the power goes down so you can see it doesn't take any effect to actual machinery but it looks as if the power's going down until here where it's just the normal color and there are no particle effects as you can see there is a particle effect on here but it is more or less the same color as that and this is 15 blocks here so redstone torches redstone torches behave in my opinion slightly strangely if they're set up like this the redstone torch is powering so this lever will do absolutely nothing but if it's set up like this if I flick the lever on the redstone torch turns off if I turn this so the power is off the redstone torch is on and the same as long as it's attached to some kind of block, it'll work any side of the block. So as you can see, if I turn this so the power is on, any of the redstone torches connected to this block, which is being powered by this redstone, is now off. So you can use redstone torches as, say, a relay or a, um inverter to invert your current. So, next, the things that are powered by redstone. This is the final part of the tutorial. So we've got doors, the wooden door and the iron door. And iron doors and wooden doors are a little bit like wooden pressure plates and stone pressure plates. Because as you can see, if I right click this one, it opens the door. Whereas if I right click this one, absolutely nothing happens. And that is because it is not being powered by redstone. So, and then we've got the pressure plate, which is the same as the wooden door, except from, it's a trap door, sorry, not a pressure plate. So, we've got powered by my hand, or powered by the switch. Next we've got pistons. This one is a normal piston, and this one's a sticky piston. You won't be able to tell the difference because you can't see the top, but when I switch them on, you should be able to tell the difference. Okay, so when we power this one, the block has moved up. When we power this one, the block is also moved up. So what is the difference between them? Well, if I power this one, the piston goes down without the block. Whereas if I power this one, the piston goes down with the block still attached. Now this will only carry onto this block, so if I grabbed another block of iron and put this on the top, although it will push both blocks up, it will only do bring down the one which is stuck to it. Okay, and this is what a sticky piston oh well this is what the sticky piston looks like. Slightly different. Okay, and we've also got 
dispensers. This one I filled with arrows. So if I press the button, it shall fire at me. So if we just quickly take them out, it can also dispense items and blocks. So if I power this now, the block of iron will come out. And the same with items. But it will automatically fire any fireable items at me, so such as arrows or eggs or anything like that. Okay, this is a powered rail made out of gold instead of iron. And basically, if the rail is powered, it shall give the minecart a boost. So let's push this around. Come on. There we go. The minecart got a boost. Whereas if it's unpowered, the minecart will break. Meaning, if I push this now, it moves very slowly. Powered. It should boost it. There we go. Unpowered. It stops it. And finally, I think it's finally, is TNT. Now, in a recent patch, TNT now doesn't work if you hit it. So I can get my TNT back if I ever need to. But it is powered by redstone. So if I push this button, the TNT is set off and... Boom! The TNT goes. Okay, well that's the end of my basic redstone tutorial. I'm Ed, and I say goodbye.